G'day you cheeky dogs! Today's video is all about divorce and dating within the Blueyverse, and we will be focusing on Winton's dad in particular and the secret backstory that has been going on since season 2 and that has been 100% confirmed thanks to the Behind Bluey podcast by Ludo Studios. It was in the most recent podcast episode for TV Shop that we finally learned his name as well thanks to Costa Kassab. To Cornelius, which was Winton's dad. This episode is also when we learn more about Cornelius' hidden backstory, but I'll get into that in a second. Now, I have already done a video theorizing about Judo's mum, Wendy, and if she is divorced, but we don't really know for sure if she is. Unlike Winton's dad, Cornelius, who is the only Bluey character we know that is definitely divorced, thanks to the episode Helicopter and Winton's conversation with Bluey. And interestingly enough, we never see Winton's mum at all. I think it had a man for the dad, Cornelius, a kid for Winton, and then there was like a scratched out bird figure. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably the mum. But his dad appears in 15 episodes, but only ever speaks on the episode markets. Anyone want the last toffee apple? I've got one toffee apple left. It's here that we learn that he has a British accent and uses British slang. Lovely, jubbly as well as has a love for sausages, which becomes a part of his reoccurring backstory in Bluey. Sweetheart, can you go get your dad a German sausage, please? OK, Dad. Cornelius' love for sausages has become an ongoing Easter egg in Bluey, with even the official Bluey Facebook page making a post about it to see how many people had spotted this Easter egg. Cornelius is only seen with his son a few times in the background. However, he has been seen with other dogs on dates, and that's where we get this secret love story that's been going on in the background and is soon to become an important part of the Blueyverse. So in the Behind Bluey podcast, we learned that Alice Holmes was the one who started the story of Cornelius looking for love. And she had started this backstory with Winton's dad looking for love. It then kind of became a big running story. We have seen Cornelius on two dates so far as well. One in the episode Cafe, where he is spotted with a white fluffy dog at the park, and another one in the episode Quiet Game, where we see him holding ice cream and, more importantly, holding hands with a female dog who looks to be a Cocker Spaniel. This actually marks the very first time we see a mixed breed couple in Bluey, although this is later followed up with Rad and Frisky and then the Grey Nomads as well. Now, in the podcast, they mention his potential breakup scene. So then you'd see him quite sad in shots and think, OK, he's, he's not found anyone yet. And it looks to have happened around the season three episode Perfect, which was actually the first episode in Australia for season three, although Disney ended up putting it later in the season. We can see that he looks very down and dejected, and most likely this is because of the breakup and he's sad, just looking for love. We then see him solo reading a book in the episode Promises, so perhaps a self-help romance book, and then we see him waiting excitedly for someone at the international airport in the episode Curry Quest. But perhaps this might be a new love interest, or maybe it was just a family member from the UK. But it's in the newest episode TV shop from season three, part three, that we really see a development in his relationship status, and that is with the Terrier's mum, aka Mrs. Terrier. From the very first school scene, we see Winton's dad looking excitedly over at her and her returning that look as well, even though she's talking to Snicker's mum. This is then followed up with the scenes in the chemist where Cornelia sees her but before approaching her, uses mouth spray. This is another hint that he likes her and wants to make a good impression while striking up a conversation with her. During their talk, you see Mrs. Terrier move closer to him and even touch his arm affectionately too. Again, making it look as though they are both interested in each other, which is adorable. Now, thanks to that Behind Bluey podcast, we know that Joe did officially write this in as part of the story. And so when it came to TV shop, I don't know, did you write it in, Joe? Yeah. 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 And also that it is going to come into play again in the future. Yeah, I loved it. It's it's just a story within a story, which weirdly then came to my rescue in a, a later app. Oh, yeah. A later, longer app. Now, it is my assumption that this longer episode is in reference to the Rad and Frisky wedding episode. That could be either the sign or surprise, which are the final two episodes of season three that we will most likely get maybe later this year. And the fact that Joe said that Cornelius and Mrs. Terrier's relationship is going to be helpful, that makes me think that he's either trying to get the point across about mixed speed relationships being okay or about blended families being okay too. So what do you cheeky dogs think about Cornelius's hidden backstory in Bluey? Let me know in that comment section down below and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications so you know whenever I release a new Bluey video. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!